up everybody it's your boy k rail six back here on k ray tv and we here for another reaction video harry mack it was all a dream behind the bars 10. <sighs> behind the bars 10 we're gonna hold we're gonna go ahead and react to this video before we do shout out to my patreon gang i appreciate y'all a long way thank y'all for y'all support and helping this platform grow so i appreciate you thank you thank you thank you and also shout out to the best squad on the net yes that dream squad y'all are amazing we just crossed over 9k and we are on our way to that 10k baby we are growing fast and i thank each and every one of you for that thank you all right to the new people welcome 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 come in sit back and enjoy you about to hop into this reaction anybody want to get these videos early and or just to support in another way hop over to our patreon all right so now that that's said let's get into this thing baby you old hey put these on so i can see better mm-hmm it was all a dream wage universe i love seeing the behind the scenes stuff because he killed swag how you doing, little man? Come on, man. Don't say that. You're a fucking legend, man. You're a fucking legend. Yeah, Blaze a legend. That's love, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, bro. You from Portland, Oregon? Yeah. Who's your favorite rapper from Portland? You're like, I don't know. I'm straight up going crazy. Working hard, I'm never lazy. Other rappers couldn't face me. Now listen, y'all know that I'm scorching and hot. Tell me though, is this the longest damn performance y'all got? He said, I, I got bars today, it's never enough. Over time, put that work in. Each time I bust, let's yeah. go. <laughs> let's go. Over time, hey Mac, you know what it is, man. All the way off top. All the way off top. <laughs> For real. <laughs> if y'all ain't seen this video, go check it out. I got it on the channel. Okay, talking to Lisa in the kitchen. We're getting ready for the show in West Nyack, which I'm really excited about because my. I don't know why I just feel so there. good right now. It's That's beautiful. Be really nice. How many of them are coming? About like 30 or so. Wow. So a whole lot of them. So. Do you the think crowd. they're gonna be well behaved? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we're just there for a concert. <laughs> Like that's dope. I blow your mind with rap quotes. <laughs> when I be rhyming, I should be rocking a lab coat. Mm. Mac, I'ma break it down. All these other Ooh. rappers are too simplistic. I dream of the shit from next year. Yo, my lyrics too futuristic. H Mac, I'll be going in. When I rhyme, I'ma hit you with the terror. I'm the LSMC, they aware wearer. And I'm aiming for the futuristic era. H Mac, I'ma take you to the future right now. Got the truest high style. I'll be blowing your mind. Going wild when I'm flowing like the motherfucking now. Y'all can check my profile. Uh, yeah. yeah. Open up my brain. You'll see a computer. He's not a human. He's a robot. From the future, future. HMAC, this microphone got me up here burning haters. Computers in my brain, I feel like the Terminator. Mm. Uh, way too sick, the kid don't settle. Y'all can shoot me, but it makes a hole of liquid With metal. metal. I reform. Y'all know I really got that savagery. <laughs> Computer in my brain, that's my damn anatomy. Now, all of these other rappers, they so irrelevant. I'm melting they flesh down, revealing they skeleton. Oh, mm. uh, HMAC, I really bring skin. the heat. Said my hip bone connected to my leg to my feet and my shoulder bone connected to my neck and my head but mm. i'm connected to the beat with every lyric that i said that's the yep. anatomy i don't know if i said it then i meant it lifting off the stage what's the word yes, i'm a reign supreme like precipitation abracadabra with rap creations mm. uh, 
I'm nice with the tactics, I tear through your fabric. And my flow is so exacting when I'm working this magic. Come yeah. on. I'm getting it done, flow is cold as a blizzard. I'm painting a picture. I told y'all Harry Mack is the wizard. I'm casting yes. a spell. Y'all know that I'm rapping too well. Uh, I love flames of merge from a passionate hell. Yeah, mm. doing it different, y'all know I'm spitting it strong. Yeah, magic keeps on pouring out the tip of my wand. Okay. Africa the master of rapping, I'm blasting at you. It's Harry Mack, I'm a catcher. Every audience member gets captured. I make it happen live with rapping, I'm snapping on stage. Do it off top, never written on a cage. Now I'ma do a spell, and I'ma use the force. It's applicable to hip hop shows, of course. Mm. See, using my magic, I make you understand. One by one, everybody starts lifting up their hands. Let's go. Y'all know I said it and I meant it. Lifting off the stage, what's the word? Transcendent. I'ma reign supreme like precipitation. Abracadabra with magic creations. Let's go. Y'all know if I said it, then I meant it. Lifting off the stage like what? I'm a race of free like precipitation, abracadabra with magic creations. Hey, let's, let's go. go. Y'all yeah. feeling that? Oh, that's fire. All right. That good energy. Let's get mm -hmm. it. Oh, yeah. Where we at? <laughs> that right there is a sign for something. I'm working on something, so just seeing that good energy, let me know I'm on the right track. Let's go! <laughs> Let's Come go. On, Harry. Brooklyn, motherfucking New York. I want to bring to the stage right now my guy, my dog, Harry. Man. Brooklyn. Hey, yo, check. One, two, one, two. Can y'all hear me out there? Yeah, y'all like the moon and Max like the sun. Cause we compliment each other. And y'all know I'm a slay the mic. Altruistic visions, we gon' kill this set day and night. Yeah, I'ma drop the hardest lecture. They copy my blueprint for the architecture. H Mac, yo overtracks my sound racing. Uh y'all gon' crumble without a foundation. Yeah, H Mac, man, I drive them all crazy. Ooh. Who's the architect for real though? Jay-Z. Yeah, y'all know I say that I'm a student. I studied the architect cause he made the blueprint. Mm. I break it down with the swiftness. I spell it out so that everyone can get this. Hit yeah. H Mac, I trace no pencil. Three, four blue friends when I use my pencil. Yeah, I can have my old flow, try to rap. H Mac, every time that it's been at the top, I got motherfuckers breaking the next. I'm on it. I'm gonna keep it honest. I'm gonna get the bike up in my palm and I'm gonna keep it like a promise. H Mac, y'all know I've been going in deeper. Every time I rhyme, I get you looking like the reefer. I've been coming off at the top, paint a picture. And they want me to do a tongue twister. She sell seashells by the seashore. Harry Mac, rap, I'm here to be more. But right now, I'm in New York. New York, unique New York, I'm all up in it. When it comes to freestyles, Mac is intimate. Yeah, y'all know I'm really about to win it. Irish wristwatch, I leave y'all pissed off. It's every bad color that I look like a big boss. Yeah, how much wood would a wood chuck chuck? No, fuck that shit. How many rounds would a every man come shit? If he had to get down and punch with legit, y'all know I get it moving, never don't quit. Every time I rhyme, it's always out of piss. Uh, I'm about to break it down. I come up the top of the crazy sound. Uh, I make it happen again. Lyrics embedded inside my brain stand. Uh, this shit is all in my double helix. Kicking the rhyme, make you feel this. Every time I'm gonna off time, and they know that my flow's appealing. Yeah, and y'all know I kill shit up on a murder spree. I'm inside your head right now. We doing brain surgery. Yeah, y'all know Harry Mack is live in person, kicking words and pure flows like a neurosurgeon. Yo, I go deep and I remain well. From the ground, I raise hell while using my brain cells. Let's get it. Oh, much love, Miguel. I actually love this topic right here. Ooh. 24 hours to live. Beat. What would you do with 24 hours to live? Oh, man. I love this. Jazz, you got something for this? Let's do it. Yeah. Brooklyn, make some noise. We got 24 hours to live. What would you do? I can't hear y'all in the front. back. Brooklyn, y'all still That's a nice subject to write about. I can probably freak that thing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, goddamn, trying to understand. 
I think I really need to make a plan. What will I take and what will I give? Damn, it's 24 hours to live. I said, damn, trying to make y'all understand. Time is running out, I need to make a plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to find what I'm about to give. Cause I only got 24 to live. Listen, uh, hey yo, I'm trying to transcend. Doctors told me my life is near the end. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. Turns out I won't live to see another day. Mm. At first I'm depressed, like damn, I can't fuck with this. So many things that are still on my bucket, bucket list. list. So many moments that still haven't arrived in. I mean, I haven't even gone skydiving. Now <laughs> I start to question Maybe. my own sanity. But then I focus in and I see my family. I see my older sister always been supporting. I see both of my parents still living up in Portland. Mm. I say, fuck this. I'm going to hop the first plane. I'm going to go and be with them because they guided me in this lane. Mm. Family's what's important. 24 hours left. I'm going to spend it with the people who gave me this breath. Said, damn. I'm trying to help y'all understand. It's getting close, so I think I need a plan. Mm. What will I take, homie? What will I give? I only got 24 hours to live. Damn. I'm trying to make y'all understand. Damn. Time is running thin. Yo, I think I need a plan. What will I take, homie? What will I give? Yeah. I only got yeah. 24 hours. I was to live. Come on. Yeah, it's getting close to the finish. Now I'm with my family and my body can be diminished. Mm. Uh, my time is running out, but I'm my own it. I think what's most important be in this moment. Cause yeah. for so much of my life, I was messaging that. For so much of my life, I was distracted. For so much of my life, I was doing wrong. I should have been here in the moment, but my mind was gone. It's crazy how we think we in the moment, but we not. And the right. most important things to us, they often get forgot. Yep. But now that it's getting close and I'm with my family, Family collective, I suddenly have that perspective. Mm. I'm thinking back like, all right, I don't need a plan. I mean, I got memories of Brooklyn full of fans. I got memories of kicking cold ass flows. I got memories of rocking all these sold out shows. Mm. God damn. I said, I hope y'all understand. Man. Time is getting thin and I think I need a plan. It's what DJ will Cole I take? for that Tell too. Me what will I give? Man. I only got 24 hours, hours to live. live. Said, damn, I'm trying to make y'all understand. Man. Time is getting thin and I think I need a plan. Man. What will I take, y'all? What will I give? I only got 24 hours to live. Okay, listen. I said, listen. Luckily for us, this is just fiction. Yep. Said I'm about to live to see another day, though. But still, I'm philosophizing like Play-Doh. Mm. Because there's much that we should be giving back. Uh, every day, I'll be trying to live like that. If I only had 24 hours left in life, what would I do? I'd get busy on the mic. I'd be yep. building with my fans. I would try to rock the world 24 hours. I was left, I'ma spend it with my girl. Shout to Lisa on the side. Tell me what else would I do? I would do a show with Lisa and find me with one. my crew. 24 hours left, I'm trying to rise above. I'm selling out this club and I'm doing what I love. Mm. See, every single day, I'ma live it like it's finished. That's the true shit. And I know let's it couldn't go, be diminished. God damn. I'm out here trying to make a plan. Damn. Yeah, I'm out here trying to make a plan. Damn. I said, what will I take and what will I give? BK, I got 24 hours, hours to live. live. I said, damn. I'm trying to make y'all understand. Man. Time is running thin. I'm trying to formulate a the plan. plan. What will I take and what, what will I, I give? give? BK, we got 24 hours to, to live. live. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> feeling that? Feeling that? Quick little pause here. I like what his DJ did. You can tell they they work together and they got this chemistry because he let up he let Harry Mack know that the choruses need to come up. The chorus is coming up. So he kind of yeah, 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 yeah. And then let him know so he can jump into the chorus and then come back for his another uh, 16. So I appreciate that. That was dope. Nice catch. Brooklyn, New York. From the bottom of my motherfucking heart. I want to thank each and every one of you. I got to go to one of these shows. It, it does seem like just good energy. To be myself. We out of here, man. We got so much fucking love for y'all. We love y'all. We love y'all for you, for you, for you, for you, for you. For everybody in the building tonight. We fucking love you. Brooklyn, we're out. Hey. Brooklyn, make some noise for Harry, man. Yeah, yo, we're on our way to the door. Uh, the door? We're excited to visit the door again. The door is a really, really cool youth organization oh, that okay. uh, provides a lot of resources for at-risk youth in the New York area. They have a recording mm. studio in there. 
and they have a lot of super, super talented young people, producers, singers, rappers. I've had the opportunity to meet them in the past. They've shown me their music. Uh, we also had the opportunity to have them join us on stream during happy hour on Twitch. And okay. uh, they updated me on their music. They're super talented. They always have a lot of dope stuff in the works. And uh, they just shine really bright, man, as human beings. So I'm excited to get back to the door, connect with the kids, see what they're cooking up, maybe kick a freestyle or two. Let's go. I love it. I always love giving back. I love giving back. I got so many plans in work. I'm going to make it public, so like, yeah. you fine I'm too. Spanish mm. genres, I'm gonna mm. Spanish music. So like, I'm into very beautiful like music, mm. but in the English, right. um, the cliche, the weekend. Mm. Um, I don't know <laughs> the cliche. About. The way he writes the simplicity about it, yeah. it still says something still like. Is. Yeah, 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 it still hits, like it still makes you so we can for sure. And then like just artists that we all kind of know, like Nikki and Drew, and yeah. like those since I was a kid, I was listening to them, so like, yeah, okay. you know what I mean? I'm inspired by stuff like that, but now I just don't have like a, a specific inspiration. Right. If I like it, I like it. For it's, sure. I just like music. It's yeah. Like, it's I respect that music. young lady, I respect that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's a that's a that's a great question. That is a great question. It was uh, so I've been freestyling since I was 11, 12 years old. I'm 32 now, so that's like 20 years. But um, the thing that made me say, okay, I could do this, you know, full time as a career, like I can actually make this what I do, um, didn't happen until many years later in, in 2016. It was the very end of 2016 in December. Mm -hmm. um, I've been freestyling that whole time and developing my skills, but I was too shy for all that time to kind of like put it out. You know, I was too afraid mm. to kind of be that person. So it was like this thing where all my yeah. friends and family and people who were around me knew that I had this freestyle talent, but I wasn't writing like that, you know, or trying to put my name out. And uh -huh. in 2016, my friend Jacob, who's a great producer, had made a beat and he hit me up and said, you know, would you be down to make a little YouTube video to help promote my beat? So his idea was to oh. freestyle while I was driving down Sunset Boulevard in LA where I live and rap about all the changing scenery and the stuff outside the car to kind of prove that I was really going outside. You know? Okay, smart. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. So, uh, so I drove down the street, we did that, posted the video online and the video like, kind of went low-key viral overnight. It got 100,000 views and got uploaded Man. to number one on Reddit videos. And I'm still looking this, for that way. All this stuff that I really wasn't even hip to at the time. Like, I didn't know about Reddit video, you know, or, or any of that. Um, I didn't have a YouTube channel or anything, but just seeing the energy that was created around that one moment that we, you know, we did that in, in 20 minutes, you know, and uh, it just was a catalyst for me and a spark inside my heart to say like, man, if this is what can be generated just with 20 minutes of effort, what could I do if I really, you know, put my nose oh, in the grindstone, yep. tunnel vision, focus yep. in and make this uh, my sole sort of driving force in life. And that's basically what I've done since, mm -hmm. since 2016 to sort, of, to sort of build my career. So that was the moment. And it's like the passion for hip hop and rhyming was strong through all of that yeah. for all the 20 years i mean from the first moment i heard hip hop i'm sure a lot of you can probably relate to this sentiment it grabbed me just sonically yeah. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. right it moves you it's it something moves different it's something yeah you feel it inside uh and that was you know yeah. when i was eight or nine years old and, and from that moment the passion has always been there but a lot of times it takes that moment like you're talking about to make you realize like oh i could really do this like this is real yeah yeah Exactly. Right, right. When you say my name, put this with me. Exactly. Yeah, because <laughs> it's your identity, right? Yeah. That's the thing. It's like brand. you're saying, like, you know, you, you don't do it lightly. You take it seriously. Very and that's serious. one of the beautiful things about music and, and creativity in general and being an artist, identifying as an artist, it's a way that we can have an identity in this world, right? And it's a way that we can sort of understand who we are in relation to the world around us, right? Mm. We're human beings and we're artists, you know, and we're creative. Sometimes when I'm freestyling, I learn things about myself that are true that I didn't Swear. know about myself. Swear. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even have to write. 
it's like if the beat, if you feel the beat, then it's like words man can come to you. Yeah. Like, say, like, say, say, like, Bruh, I, this is, this that is, is very thing, true. Right? Yeah. I, I go through YouTube. Yeah. Scrolling for beats. If I can't, if I can't find the first sentence to it, then it's not the beat for me. Word. But some of these beats, I want to be, I be mistake, mistakenly pressing on them. And that right. be the beat. I'm saying, yeah, yeah. At the beat, at the beat. If you feel the beat, then that's what you need. 100%. You know, uh, everybody yeah. keep going. Good to meet you. I'm going to pause it right here just to say, like, what he said at the end is very, very true. It's very true. Some of the stuff that I've written over the years, it was like when I go back and read it, because I be so in the moment. Even in these videos, it's always like one take in the moment. So when I go back and edit it, I'm like, bro, I said that? <laughs> like, it's crazy. So I be so in the moment. And when I go back and read the lyrics that I wrote, I'm like, dang, did I write this? <laughs> like, you sure this wasn't for somebody else? Because the words just like magically come out of air and it just fall into place. So that is 100% true. You hear a song or I can hear a song or a beat. And I automatic my brain automatically figures out a cadence. It figures out like what kind of like subject matter, it like just puts it together, and then the words kind of come down, and I just mm, mm, mm. so that's very true. And then also about what Harry Mack said, like knowing what you want to do, and I always like to be a behind the scenes kind of guy. That's that was my, always my thing, but in life I always got pushed to the forefront, no matter what. No matter what, in track, I pushed to the forefront uh, in school, like writing, um, just school, period. Like, I'll be sitting back trying to be low key, and I always get pushed out. Always get pushed out. And in college, in the military, every place I go to, I try to stay in the back, and they always push me out in the front. And the same thing, like with content creator, I was always creative from writing. Um, from just doing like skits and things of that nature, like always doing doing gymnastics, anything. Like I was always doing something. Like me and my cousins and everything, we're always doing some creative stuff. And it wasn't until like uh, when I was going through college, I remember uh, we had to do this paper, and I wrote about I think I think I about wrote about a situation that happened to me, and my professor was like so blown away. She was like, oh my goodness, like, did you write this? I'm like, yeah, it's about my life. And she helped me, like, strengthen my writing, like, like taking out the fat. And from each assignment I turned in, she was like, bro, why aren't you writing a book? Like, why aren't you doing something with this? Like, you are so creative and blah, blah, blah. And I heard that all my life, but it never really stuck for some reason until she said it. And I was like, huh, wow, maybe I can do something with it. And then I love gaming. I love anime. I love all this stuff. So one day I was like, I'm just going to post a video online because uh, why not? Just let's throw it up there. It's something funny that me and my friends laughed at. And from that, it kind of grew like, what am, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I know I like to stay behind the camera, but it's in me. That passion is in me to create and deliver good content and to like, develop and help people so why not why not and i think life has taught me hey hey i've been showing you all your life you can't be behind the scene get up in front so now i'm finally walking in that so thank you harry i just want to give y'all this little story in between time because that can be a gem or a message to you like you might have a passion that you're scared to do trying to stay behind. A lot of people I know hit me up on Instagram about YouTube and stuff, and they like, how can I do this? I'm so scared to do this, and what should I do this? And I'm like, bro, just do it. Just do it. Like, the first step is usually the hardest step. Just do it. Just put it out there, and don't don't look for the results. Like, don't care about the results. Don't try to put it out there to make a million view video or things of that nature. No, just put it out. Just put it out there, and over time, you'll start getting better. Over time, you'll get more comfortable in front of the camera. I used to hate the camera on me. Like, <laughs> most of my videos on my other channel are cameraless, if you see that. It wasn't until I did this one that I was like, full camera. So, um, yeah, just put it out there. 
Go for it. Don't let fear hold you back and uh, achieve your goals. All right. Sorry about the long monologue, but that kind of inspired me. Mm-hmm. That's fire. Yo, what's up? How you guys doing today? So this is unreleased. Yo, my name's Harry Mack. Could I do a freestyle rap for you guys real quick? Yeah, fuck it. All right, no, no, no. So, somebody give me a random word. Peanut butter. Peanut butter? Peanut butter. Hell yeah, I like it. Y'all can throw them out, too, while we go, if you want. All right. <laughs> yeah. You're like, are you serious? Yeah. Uh, come on. Yeah, yeah. Check oh, this is nice. One, two, one, two. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Come on. Uh, I said I crush instrumental, these beats get smothered. My maneuvers even smoother than some peanut butter. h Mag, when I rhyme, I'm keeping it funky. I said my lyrics are smooth, but my beats sound chunky. Mm. Yeah, when it comes to lyrics, there ain't nothing they can tell me. I'm smooth like peanut butter, so I'm making rappers jelly. That's a PB and J. h Mag is a classic. Mm -hmm. When it comes to rhymes, oh, I'm way above the average. Oh yeah, I'm about to floss again. Peace Pacific Northwest fans in Washington. Uh -huh. H-Mac, I'm here to create, but yo, I'm here to spark. Wait a second, right now, are we in Washington Square Park? H-Mac, I break it down for my peeps, I'm in the place. Yo, this is my initial, my name starts with H. Uh -huh. A-double-R-Y, <laughs> my bars, yeah, they all fly. When they becoming the lyrics off top, H-Mac's a hard guy. I'm getting it done forever, my rhymes are clever, I got crazy haters. Shout my girl lamping in the aviators. H-Mac, yeah. y'all know that my freestyle's hype. I need some aviators, lyrically, I'm about to take flight, yeah, h Mac. y'all know when I spit, I slay fam, uh, they be throwing shades, something like Ray-Bans, mm -hmm. h Mac. damn G, no one can slam me, one. lyrics flex from here and stretch to Miami, all across the planet, man, I'm making it clear, uh, shouts to me and you, we both growing the beard, uh -huh. h Mac. when I'm on it, man, I'm getting people quite amped, when it comes to rap battles, I'ma be the fight champ, h Mac. man, I'm known <laughs> for the vocals around the global, I'm known from London to Soho, anywhere Ooh. we at, man, I'm getting it done, my heart and soul a couple places that I'm spitting it from uh, And y'all know that I'm dope, peep the quotes I get open from the chest like a zip-up coat Hit mm -hmm. back, I'm coming through just to blow your brain The ill freestyle speller shines like silver on your chain Yeah, I maintain, I'm calling out the outfits And when it be coming to rhymes, other rappers not about shit Yeah, I make it happen, y'all know rappers is quaint I'm filling up the canvas with this freestyle paint And that's oh, mad okay. true Y'all know when I rap, dude, I get at you Many colors combined just like your tattoos it's say nice. smack for my lyrics, they gon' beg. My man got art covering this whole leg. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I spit it in the freeway, they know my brand like it's RVCA. Yeah, Ooh. I make it happen. Y'all know I used to rock black jeans with the crack scenes. Now I'm on the rap scene. Ain't nobody like me. We matching in the Nikes. Both of us get the checks. Every Mac, I catch wreck. Off the head, I'm hype. And I last for nights. I blend colors together like the red and white. Rappers get devoured under me. The cowards the cowards. Yeah, I got the power. Standing tall just like a tower. Mm -hmm. H Mac, I'm on it, man. I'm blasting like a rifle. Standing tall like a tower. They compare me to the Eiffel. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when I'm rhyming, tell the DJ we need more bass. I storm the track and keep you warm like a North Face. I'm the rapper that they try to be. I'm forming extra crowds standing on the side of me. Let's yeah. go. When it comes to lyrics, man, I do this shit so often. I'm bossing. Shout my girl in the black hoodie nodding. H Mac, I'm here. Y'all know they couldn't <laughs> test me. Goddamn, I need some of those black and white SBs. H Mac, I break it down. I'm going to do a strong verse speaking the black is and nice. white y'all matching to the converse mm -hmm. h-mac i fall hard these are all bars word of your shoes because harry max are all star uh. yeah h-mac i be coming through properly known for putting thoughts together logically really ain't no stopping me because when they becoming the lyrics i do it truly i'm never bougie but when i spit it's all gucci and peace to all the fans around the planet who be quoting them damn i'm great when i rhyme i be animate like nickelodeon h-mac i'm breaking it down i'm quick to blow your mind now with the craziest sound let's, let's Go! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
back. Appreciate you. Thank you for being a part of it. Appreciate you. Much love, man. There you have it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. If you enjoyed, please remember to like, comment your favorite moment, subscribe, turn on those notifications. If you're looking for other ways to support, go ahead and check out the link up here. Or if you want to keep going down the rabbit hole, the algorithm has picked another one of my videos for you to watch right down there. Have fun, y'all. Peace. All right, y'all. That was Harry Mack. It was all a dream behind the bars 10. That was nice. I like seeing like the behind the scenes and stuff like that. I like to see people's processes and everything and how they get ready to do what they do. We all have our, our quirks or we all have our little processes that we do before we hop into the video. Like sometimes I get on and I just shoot a, a random video talking, doing whatever, like to warm up my voice, to, to fix any kind of camera issues, any type of thing like that. We just get in here and we go. Or sometimes I just get in, <laughs> get it wrong. I jump right in that thing, but it creates many bloopers. Sometimes I keep the bloopers in there. Sometimes I don't. But uh, sometimes I don't. So you know, you know. But I like seeing all that. I like seeing him. I didn't know. I don't know why I didn't think that he warmed up before he go out and do it. Like, yeah, you got to get the juices flowing. So I don't know why I didn't think that. <laughs> and I love that he went to the door. That is so fire. I would like to visit there if I ever get to New York and uh you know the whole thing which is great so i'm glad i reacted to this i hope y'all enjoy it as well uh we're about to end this video like comment subscribe and share drop your thoughts in the comments below support by joining our patreon and uh we'll see you in the next one yeah hey